let's say I do gaslight my audience. Who freaking cares? This channel is not a weight loss channel. You don't send a huge pie and bread to a weight loss channel. You don't do it. Again, not a weight loss channel. If anything, I should be like, the walking example of what not to be and to lose your weight. I feel like in my past life, I was a doctor or a nurse. No one cares! I lost control of my bowels and I pooped my pants. <laughs> Potatoes, man. Well, if you needed further proof that Amber isn't taking rarity missing seriously, just look at this absolutely diabolical thumbnail she posed for to address the so-called truth about what happened. And this clickbait title, which had a lot of her viewers thinking and hoping it was an update on Rarity, but instead her most exciting news ever and the best news she's ever received was a ticket to a Billie Eilish concert recently. And today she clickbaits again when she titles the video, The Truth, which is supposed to be her addressing some sort of truth about what happened to Rarity. Gorals, she's just dragging this sad situation out for views and content at this point. Hey guys, welcome to a new video. So this video is gonna be updates on Rarity My Cat that is missing and also questions and concerns that I've seen float around. I wanna do my diligence and like, I wanna do my diligence and like, I wanna do my diligence and like, answering questions because I just, it just seems like a lot of people are confused and I know there is a section of people who watch me who stay confused on purpose. So a big question is like, what day did she go missing? Did she go missing while you were at the Billie Eilish concert? Like I'm confused why you're at a concert while your cat is missing. Like what? Billie Eilish concert happened on the 14th. Rarity went missing very early in the morning on the 17th. This girl can't keep her stories straight. Today she says Rarity went missing very early the morning of the 17th, but in the video she uploaded on the 18th titled, My Heart is Broken, in which she shares the sad news, she said it happened two nights ago which would be the 16th. But yes, my cat Rarity is missing and I have done nothing but cry. Um, it happened two nights ago and I put full blame on myself. And yet when she posted in the group, Lost Cats of Wisconsin, she states Rarity went missing on the 18th. So which is it Amber? Was it the 16th, 17th, or 18th? Every time I upload a video now, the question is, why are you doing that instead of looking for your cat? My answer to that is pretty simple. Two things can happen at once. I am working and I am also trying to look for my missing cat. I'm literally in my bed, in the dark, editing my videos at like 2 a.m. as it's snowing. I just hope that there is a loving person who found her and is currently taking care of her and just haven't contacted like the animal shelter or anything. And I'm like, all right here is so dry and painful. Even just like touching it hurts because all I do is cry it feels like. And I'm just becoming literally a shell of a person. Rarity was everything to me. <laughs> like she just like followed me everywhere, literally everywhere. No matter what room I was in, no matter what I was doing, she was there. Like she just was attached to my hip. She was just my little best friend. Ugh, the hardest part of it all is the unknown. Where is she? Is she hurting? Is she scared? Is she cold? Does she feel lonely? Like, it's just so much. Or is she having the freaking time of her life? Like, the world is her oyster. I don't know. Cats don't run away. They explore. And they explore too hard, and then they get lost. That's what happened with Rarity. She didn't run away. People were wondering, was she stressed? No, she acted like she owned this house. Rarity isn't like a scared cat. Like she handles herself so well. She adapts so well. Like this is really sad, but literally this video I'm about to show you is her laying on Tommy a night before she went missing. She's happy, she's content, she's purring. She explored too hard and now I can't find her and I feel like I'm failing, but I'm doing everything I can. I am being attacked for crying. I'm being attacked for not crying. I'm being told there's no tears when I am crying. I am being told, why are you so horrible? You're not crying. What is happening? People are also asking like, why do I keep talking in past tense? Like, why did I say, I know you guys loved her instead of saying, I know you guys love her. My anxiety and my mental health is so bad. Oh, hell no. That my brain keeps going to the worst case scenario. I am trying more than anything to stay positive and to think positive and to just like do my diligence as a pet owner. There is a small, 
amount of defeat inside of me and I just I don't want to give up when you hear me speak in past tense that is why is because I'm just having so much anxiety and fear and stuff that it's really getting in my head another question is like bro Amberlynn like how did you not notice that the door was open when you let the dogs out okay guys so instead of explaining how it happened I want to show you how it happened I did just get out of the shower so my hair is wet oh, okay. so usually I take the dogs out and this curtain is usually open so I just close it like that but when it happened it was five in the morning and this is closed when I closed the door I thought I closed the door it seemed like I did I was half asleep with a million things on my mind and this is how far I left it open like the most simple mistake of the world can happen in less than a second but it wasn't a second in her own video she even says she left that door open for 20 minutes i've just go been going through a lot and i wasn't thinking and i left the glass door open just like i don't know like this much and i'm telling you when i noticed it was like 20 minutes later but it literally just takes a second and rarity is like one of the most adventurous cats and literally ruin and shatter your whole life like a lot of people were confused saying that I leave the door open for the dogs to go outside. No, it happened after the dogs came back inside. So after I let the dogs back in, I was just doing things around the house. It was like 20 minutes later. I sat down in the chair and I felt like a super cold breeze. And I was like, I opened these. I like peeked around the corner and I was like, you've got to be kidding me. And a lot of people are confused on like when it happened. It was the 17th at like... 5 a.m., 6 a.m. I'm telling you, we searched this house high and low and searched like surrounding areas outside of the home. We put it online that Rarity was missing. The haters have officially made it to where Rarity's poster is even being taken down from websites because of the fake Twinkie one. A troll took it a little too far when they made this fake missing poster about Twonk. Like it is literally that easy for it to happen. If you call me neglectful for that, then you're calling every single person who has a missing animal neglectful and that's not the case. Did I make a huge massive mistake? Yes, and I'm gonna have to live with that. Someone messaged and said that they saw a missing gray and white cat actually close to where we are in our neighborhood when we go out and look. And now we're also going to that spot where someone said that it might have been her that they saw. So the next step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be posting a money cash reward. Sorry, but no chip, no collar. What did you expect? You can't use, it takes just a second, as an excuse when you admitted it was 20 minutes. It's due diligence, not to your diligence. Did you graduate? 140 IQ. She said that? The switch from crying to laughing is crazy. Not you posing with the open door in the thumbnail be so serious all your cat is missing. The truth is that you let your cat out by leaving the door open out of laziness, that's it. Amberlynn in her clickbait era.